Hi everybody, thanks for joining us again. Today Jason and I are going to talk to you about cleaning your natural stone projects. We've got three great products here that we're going to walk you through and the first one we're going to start with is a product called BioClean. This is a great cleaner. This is probably the one we're asked for the most. It tackles a variety of stains. As the name would suggest, they're of a biological nature. Yeah, it's going to get all your organic stains like uh, bird droppings, algae, food stains and leaves. Leaves, this product is super popular during the fall because leaves kind of stain everything, so it takes a good care of the leaves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. Yeah, it, it does, yeah. So um, we, we get asked for this product all the time. It's basically the most typical variety of staining that we have. Well, like that, you said, food stains, leaf yeah, stains. And it's really, really easy to use. I think that's the most important thing. All you do is you wet down the surface and you apply it full strength. You can use a scrub brush if you want to speed up the process, but it's certainly not necessary. And this product, can uh, you can allow it to dry right on the surface. Just want to get to a rinse, uh, rinsing off your stone within 24 hours. And we've used this on many sites to demo for contractors and homeowners. Yep. You want to tell uh, us about one of those stories? Yeah, Jason and I were on a site earlier this year. Uh, an unhappy homeowner had reached out. They had just invested quite a bit in their backyard <coughs> and they had really beautiful light gray stepping stones, natural square cut flagstone. And they were in a mature neighborhood with a lot of mature trees. And these trees were leaving leaf stains as well. They had some berries on them and that was creating a ton of unsightly staining, both from the berries dropping on top, but also the birds and other wildlife were consuming the berries and leaving droppings as well. So the homeowner called us and they were looking for a little bit of help. I called my contractor services team to back us up and <laughs> Jason and I went out. Uh, like you said, really simple to use this product. We wet down the stone, we applied it directly to the stone. Uh, luckily, Mother Nature was calling for a little bit of uh, help to rinse off the product. We recommended that the homeowner actually just leave it on the stone and allow the rain that evening to rinse it off. Right. Which is exactly what happened. And the next morning they called and they were looking for a, a local dealer where they could purchase the product. They were extremely happy with the results. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have pictures of that one on hand, but we do have these great ones behind us. So here's an example of some Indian Coast, uh, obviously some organic staining on there. BioClean really, really helped with this project. It's good for natural stone as well as precast concrete. And uh, yeah, it's just, just a really awesome cleaner and definitely probably the most popular of the three. Right. So on to the next one, uh, PowerClean. This is another really awesome cleaner. And Jay, when would you use PowerClean over say BioClean for yeah, example? Yeah, this is, uh, it's an alkaline based cleaner and that's kind of important. I mean, it's good for oil and it's a good degreaser. It's um, you know, it's, it's really important to use on an acid sensitive surface. So if you have some light cement contamination on a limestone, this is the product you're going to want to use. And it's really, really important not to use an acid on a limestone. Uh, so this will actually remove some food stains as well as BioClean. Yep. But even uh, working in concert with each other, they're great. Now it is applied a little bit differently, right? We've been right. talking about BioClean being applied directly to the stone. This is going to require a little bit of dilution. Right. You're going to same thing as BioClean by wetting the surface first. And this uh, would start with maybe a 10 to one, uh, moving up to a five to one. It's better to use, uh, do multiple passes than, than to go full strength. So yeah, definitely to do, follow the instructions on the back and dilute these. So Jay, you have another example where again, you know, contractor services to the rescue, you guys were called out to save the day. Yeah. And I thought this was a cool story to tell because it's, it's got a good little tip in it with this uh, drill head and, and that attachment if you right. want to maybe start from there. Just any regular drill and this uh, really cool drill head attachment, it's a, just a brush. So we, uh, we were called out to a site where um, the contractor installed our Black River limestone slab and uh, really great job. Unfortunately, when he went to fill the joints, he used an older style polymeric sand and it was Portland based. So it left a pretty nasty haze all over the project. So he went to a local hardware store and bought an acid based natural stone cleaner and he cleaned the whole patio. And it looks like when he was rinsing it off on the left there, you can see the milky stains and that's actually the acid eating the surface of the natural stone. And at that point, he kind of threw his hands up in the air. So the homeowner gave Unilock a call and uh, 
contractor services went out and we brought that brush and the drill and the power clean, cleaned the whole patio. And when it went, when it was dry a few days later, we came back and sealed it with a color enhancing sealer. And that's the result on the right. Happy customer and a great looking project. So just a couple of little tidbits to kind of pull out of that story, Jay. One of them is we should be your first call. You know, the stone was etched. We got some really good results here. Jay and his team did a great job, but it's not always easy to restore something. Sometimes the damage is so significant that, you know, replacement's gonna be your only option. So if we're your first call, we've got a lot of boots on the ground, contact your territory manager or your contractor services representative. We're happy to come out to your sites and give you a hand. Um, you know, luckily we were able to help this homeowner, but if we're your first call, a lot of times it's, you know, we can resolve the issue a, a little bit easier. Sure. So Jay, that's going to bring us to our final cleaner, which is our acid clean. Did you want to maybe walk us through a little bit sure. about that one as a well? Acid clean is our most robust cleaner. And uh, just going to say right off the stop, not, not for use on limestone. So if you have sandstones or granite or, or anything else that's not limestone or acid sensitive, this is the clean you're going to, going to want to use to clean off efflow stains, rust stains, cement and mortar residue, even some grout hazing and hard water scale, but just not for use on limestone. And as far as the application goes, it's more same. similar to power clean than it is to bio clean in that you're going to dilute this first. Again, we kind of sound like a broken record, want right. to wet the stone. And uh, maybe you can give uh, a, another example on application as you uh, tell your next story here, Jay, about using it in the field. Right, so uh, on the screen right now, there's a couple of uh, pieces of sandstone and this contractor had purchased the natural stone and left it in crates for about a year before installing it. And he noticed that some of the pieces had some iron oxide staining on them when he was pulling them out of the crates. It wasn't every piece, so he continued to work and uh, he finished the patio. Then he went to his local hardware store and picked up some CLR and cleaned the whole patio. You know, he thought he was doing the right thing, but unfortunately when he returned the next day, the entire patio had gone brown with iron oxide staining. So the, they called Unilock to reach out for some help yep. and uh, contractor services went out again and uh, we cleaned it. And you can kind of get an idea right there us using that uh, stiff bristled broom just to really spread it out. It can uh, accelerate the process a bit, but it's not a necessary thing just to get it over the entire surface because this entire patio was brown. It was the right tool to use. And then the result is a really nice, uh, patio again you can actually see the rust stains disappearing before your eyes all right jay so that kind of uh we've we've walked through the three <laughs> products and you know i'm sure your wheels are probably already turning on you know a couple issues that you've had in the past or maybe some pending ones and where you might be able to apply some of these cleaners um, and if so your next question i'm sure is going to be how much do i need so prior to ordering we recommend that you know take down the url on the screen here this is a great spot to just go in. You're a few clicks away. You're going to enter your square footage and there's a product calculator on there that's going to kind of guide you on how much you should be looking for. Again, we're here to help. You can always reach out to your territory manager and, or your contract services representative and we can give you a hand. Uh, in addition, there's another really helpful spot on this website where if you're maybe wondering which cleaner would suit your particular situation the best, you can go here and there's just a, a section that you can see circled there called product guidance and assistance. So this has a couple of different really cool tools for you. Um, one thing that it does have is a bunch of articles and photos. So you can go, you can see if you're the same, somebody's had the same issue and how it was resolved. There's also um, safety data sheets, um, all kinds of other product resources. Yeah, instructions on how to use it. Yep. And if you can't find what you're looking for in these articles, if your problem is just a little bit different, there's another page that, where you can upload a photo of what's happening to your project, write a brief description, give your contact details, and someone will get back to you with a solution. Yep. Well, Jason, that concludes our presentation on cleaning natural stone. I'd like to thank everybody for joining us today. Thanks very much.